I'm going to talk to you about this left hand. I'm going to do a little video for you. So you can break it up and practice jab and then practice the hook. So if we just do the jab first and looking at this left hand, instead of holding the left hand here and shooting it this way and then this way, I let this left hand move. So it's going to towards your shoulder. You can tap your shoulder to get used to it. Okay. So I go one and two. And what happens is, is by moving your left hand towards your shoulder, it keeps you from being in a bind. Because this here can hurt right across the front of your shoulder, in this case your rotator cuff. So I'm going to step in this way and that way. So the left hand is constantly moving. They're working together. Okay. Keeping your energy in flux, right? So we got one, two. And you notice I do it with my hand down, okay? Because in this case, it's actually faster this way versus being here, okay? And that's something for later, right? So, and this also sets you up for in case something goes wrong. We'll jump off topic here for a second. If this hand got blocked, then this hand is right here to now shoot into something else. Okay, so put it all together, we're here in one, two. So as this shoots, it rounds the corner, okay, and that's what we do. We like to round our corners, okay. Um, that can be illustrated by if I shoot here, then I come behind it with an elbow. So I can catch here, round that corner that way. So I'm going to shoot here. And the same thing, okay? And there it is with the hook. Okay, so one, two, all right? This way, that way, okay? And then you got your knee, your heel, and your hip all turning in the same direction. So you got what we call body torque, okay? You got this rotation, and then as you turn and center, you have also what we call marriage of gravity. All these things are taking a play in terms of your speed and your power. So this hand, boom. This hand, here. Okay? So, all right. I hope that's helpful. Okay.